Hi everybody, Mike Brown back with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 course. In our last lesson, we took a good look at layers, how layers work, and adjustment layers, how adjustment layers provide options for exposure and color corrections that are non-destructive, that do not affect the pixels, that can be changed as much as you want, and will not hurt the pixels. When you saw every time we created an adjustment layer, and here's adjustment layers right here, it comes automatically with a mask attached. That is a layer mask. In this lesson, we're going to take a good look at layer masks. What are they? Why we want to use them and how you modify them. What it is, why use it, how to create and modify the mask, a mask correction trick that is not in the textbooks, and we'll use an example using and modifying layer masks to correct an image. So let's get started by what is a layer mask. Let's take a look at this particular image of this young lady. And if you look over in the layers panel, there are a whole lot of layers to this image. There are physical layers. Here's your background layer. Here's the duplicate of the background layer, and I duplicated it one more time up at the top here, and it's turned off. Remember how our layers work? So if I turn it on, we view that layer, and there's the original file. If I turn it off, there's everything underneath it. So there's an easy way to do a before and after. Copy your before from the bottom, move it all the way to the top, and there you go. Now. We also have a series of physical layers here. You notice this says left lower lashes and left upper. I want you to look at the original shot of this girl. And it's rather sparse in the eyelashes, top and bottom. But I want you to look at the finished product. Eyes are corrected. We're going to do this actual one. This layer here is physically, oh, turn it on, The turn it off. Sorry, I need to see the finished product. I got confused. There's your left lower lashes. Notice the bottom lashes. I turn it off, turn it on. The upper lashes, off and on. Same thing with the other side. But here are physical lashes on a blank layer. I painted, just like I'm doing with the check marks in our lesson, I painted these lashes. And then I individually selected around one just a loose selection with zero pixel feather copy and pasted, rotated, and twisted and put them in. And there's some more right there for the other side. Anyway, that's physical layers right there. We come down to the bottom. You see our original, our background layer, and a layer three, which I think is a blank layer that doesn't have anything to do. And then we have all these adjustment layers. And look at them, hue saturation, and you see curves. This particular image was done in Photoshop, not Elements. In Photoshop, the exposure control is curves. Here, the exposure control is levels. Same thing, adjustment layer, hue saturation and curves. And we just keep coming up. And you see one that's color. That's color balance, which in Photoshop has a, an adjustment layer. Here, it's in enhance color color variations, and it actually works on the pixels. So that's one slight advantage Photoshop has. You can do this as an adjustment layer, which is non-destructive. But all you see, hue saturation, curves, and color balance, mostly the curves. And then interspersed, you see physical layers. But you notice, in this case, if you remember, before I go on, every time we automatically add a, an adjustment layer. Let's just open one up for levels and I'll show you. It opens up. There's the layer and attached to it is a mask or a thumbnail. That is an actual selection mask which is also a mask. Remember our selection brush tool has selections and masks. That's a mask, but being white means it affects nothing. I mean, it's not isolating an area. It affects the entire image. Down here, you see masks attached to hue saturation with just a part of the face. We can view a mask by holding down Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and when the blue 
window or the blue frame is around it, click the mask, and there you see the black and white version of that mask. Okay, Option or Alt click again, and it's gone. Now, if we do that with the white one, Option or Alt click, it's all white, or again, it comes away. So you understand what the layer mask is. It's simply a selection attached to an adjustment layer or a physical layer. Sometimes you don't want to um, have a problem, and you'll use it. In this case, you see a face, portion of her face. Let me make sure this is turned off. Yes, it is. Portion of her face, and the reason these masks are there, they're blurs. Notice the skin when I turn it on and off. Notice the pores of the skin. I cut out part of the face and masked it, pasted it in, and did nothing but blur it. And I wanted the mask, the black part, because I didn't want to blur anything else but part of her face. I want you to see, uh, let's do that right around the eyes. I'll turn it off and turn it on. You notice it doesn't affect the eyes, but it does affect the skin. Okay? That's where a mask comes into play there. So there, what is a layer mask? A layer mask is very simply a selection that is attached to a layer, either an adjustment layer or a real layer. Why use layer masks? What it allows you to do is make your adjustment layers with selections so that you isolate areas non-destructively.